Cheney amps up Jordan criticism. GOP will lose House and deserve it. Former Representative Liz Cheney, RYO, on Friday doubled down on her criticism of Representative Jim Jordan, R. Ohio, saying if he becomes Speaker, Republicans will lose control of the House in the next election, and rightly so. Time equals 400 Ms. greater than if R's nominate Jordan to be Speaker they will be abandoning the Constitution. They'll lose the House majority and they'll deserve to, Cheney wrote in a post on X, formerly Twitter. Cheney reiterated her concern about Jordan's close relationship with former President Trump and about his involvement in the efforts to keep Trump in power after he lost the 2020 election. Jim Jordan was involved in Trump's conspiracy to steal the election and seize power, she wrote. He urged that Pence refuse to count lawful electoral votes. Jordan on Friday re-entered the race for Speaker after losing the GOP nomination to House Majority Leader Steve Scalise, Arla, in a Tuesday vote of 113 to 99. Scalise dropped out Thursday night after he was unable to get enough support from members of his conference. Later Friday, Georgia Republican Representative Austin Scott also threw his hat into the Speaker race saying he wants to lead a house that functions in the best interest of the American people. In a speech last week, Cheney said she did not expect Jordan would get the votes to become speaker, but if he did, there would no longer be any possible way to argue that a group of elected Republicans could defend against the Constitution. Time equals 400 Ms. greater than Jim Jordan knew more about what Donald Trump had planned for January 6 than any other member of the House of Representatives, she said in the speech last week. Jim Jordan was involved, was part of the conspiracy in which Donald Trump was engaged as he attempted to overturn the election. Cheney, as vice chair of the January 6 Select Committee, published a report with the committee that described Jordan as a significant player in Trump's efforts to overturn the results of the election. The report said the Ohio Republican participated in numerous post-election meetings to discuss strategies for overturning the election results, including a January 2, 2021 call with Trump and others to discuss plans for delaying the January 6 joint session. According to the report, Jordan also sent a text on January 5, 2021 to then White House Chief of Staff Mark Meadows saying he was passing along advice that Vice President Pence should call out all the electoral votes that he believes are unconstitutional as no electoral votes at all. Single quote quote.